Hey everybody. Hi, it's Becky from PowerToolsWithThread.com. That's my blog. I don't like the lighting in here. Oh, I can't wait for my new studio to be done. Starting February 22nd. I gotta thank Joy. She told me that Jerry, her husband, that's Joy Bernhardt on YouTube. She had told me that her husband Jerry had gridded out their entire house where they live right now and figured out where all the furniture was going to go and made sure everything would fit. Well, she told me about that, so I did that. And I did a grid of my new sewing room. It's 21 by 21. Let's see if I can put this up without stuff falling off. So I put everything up. And this is the front door as you would walk in. Oh, my long arm flopped over. <laughs> but... Anyway, so that's what I've done. Um, my sewing machine row is right here against some windows. There's going to be two more sewing machine. That's two sewing workstations right there. I have a full wall of cabinets for storage. And my computer work desk is going to be over here. And then the long arm, I'll flip it over so you guys can see. And yeah, um, Spanky's going to be over here, over in this corner. Just very excited about it all. Should be should be cool. It just makes me feel so much better to know that that all of the furniture is going to fit and I've got room to work and do everything. It's all very exciting. About the furniture, I actually ended up canceling that arrow cabinet that I had wanted to get. It was just not going to fit and work out with this. And then also they let me know that that particular cabinet, the Aussie 2 that I wanted, cannot fit the luminaire so that kind of just worked together to make it not work and I ended up canceling it uh, this is going to work out much better I will be getting some furniture from Ikea and I'm just excited about that I'll show you some pictures right here this is going to be the dual sewing station where I will have my PQ 1500 my brother PQ 1500 the piecing machine and the luminaire these have drawer sets underneath them that will be able to handle the shake of the luminaire. And then all of this fabric storage back here is going to be put into these cabinets right here. And over here where I have a lot of pre-cuts and, and whatnot on those, those last two bookcases over there, I have two more just like them on the other side of the room. And they're going to go right here. This is them right next to my computer workstation. And this right here is actually a door that leads into uh, back, back in here, not in the grid is a storage area. And so th my husband's building one of those sliding barn doors. So the door has to have room to slide. Otherwise I would have put these bookcases over here, but you have to mount them to the wall. And since there's gonna be a door sliding under there, that's not gonna work. I don't think, maybe, don't know. I have to work on that, see how it goes. Janice, I want to thank you for your nice letter. I appreciate that very much. You're a sweetheart. Just letting you know. Uh, whenever my uh, viewers send me a letter, I like to recognize it so that they know that I got it because who knows how long it'll take in the mail, right? I wanted to show you some fabric that I got in. I got this from Villa Rosa Designs. It is called One Land, One Flag, and it has the Pledge of Allegiance on it. How cool is this? This thing is 24, 43 by 24. I just love it. As soon as I saw it, I will, I will put a link to this below in the description box if you wanted to go get it. It is just gorgeous. The color is just beautiful. I'll probably straight line quilt it. I don't know. But I wanted to get this. And then I also purchased the abstract. This is called One Land, One Flag Abstract stars blue and this is going to be the backing plus i got a little extra for um i'll probably do this in the binding as well but it reads as a stripe you see that i love it i think it's just gorgeous this veteran approves <laughs> speaking of flags 
I'm going to be doing another Villa Rosa Designs pattern. Uh, it is called Liberty. And I'm going to start this. Let me check the date. I'm going to start this sew along on April 19th. If you guys are interested in making this, this will get this quilt done for you the week of April 19th. And then you will have it come Memorial Day in May, uh, Flag Day in June, and um, Fourth of July, and then Labor Day. It finishes out to 45 by 70. So this is one of those these uh, quilts that would look just absolutely fabulous hanging over like uh, I'm going to use it at the coast and just hang it over our deck so that it faces out, you know, and it that just makes when people drive by and see that they just absolutely love it. We have other flags out as well, but to see a quilt is really special. So um, it, this is this is just great for that. OK, so I want to let you guys know about that. April 19th, we're going to start this. I'll link to the pattern below. It is uh, six fat quarters of red, nine fat quarters of white, and eight fat eighths of blue that you would need to make this. And we'll do it just like we did fa la la. I'll give you an A, B, C, D, E, F, G, alpha, bitty kind of thing to tell you what's what. And then uh, we will cut the fabric and start putting it all together. Okay. All right. Good. I got it, some other fabric from Missouri Star. They had a daily deal. It was from Michael Miller. It's a Michael Miller fabric called Magnolia. And I thought it was just beautiful. Very pretty, soft spring. Very, very nice spring, summer florals. So I got this and I also ordered uh, the Magnolia Mist yardage. So the bouquets, the Mist yardage. Isn't that pretty? I got that and then I ordered, they have, it looks like a weave. Can you see it through the package there? It's called Weave Khaki Yardage. This will be the binding. And I'm going to use Villa Rosa Designs Tuscan Sun to make it. Very neat. See, Villa Rosa Designs has a lot of patterns that work well with pre-cuts. And this is in there, if you download their app, they have, Villa Rosa Designs has an app on the iTunes store and the Google Play store. You can just search 10 inch squares and go through and see. I'll be honest with you, what I did was, as soon as I saw the layer cake for sale on Missouri Star's Daily Deal, I thought, oh, I wanna make that. What can I, what can I make with that? <laughs> And I pulled up my app and I went and filtered to 10 inch squares and started going through. And I said, oh, this one will work perfect. That'll, that'll work just great. I'm, I'm really excited to put it together. It looks like it's going to be very simple. It does not have any diagonal or bias seams. Should be pretty nice. Should be, should be pre pretty quick to go together. I have to tell you guys about my new, new favorite, absolute favorite tool in my sewing room. And it's not a machine. Well, it is kind of, but it's not a sewing machine. It's an iron. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is brand new from Cricut. Nothing to do with the scan and cut. Cricut makes a cutting machine, all right? But they also make these easy press irons. They've come out with this mini but mighty. It's called the easy press mini. Look at this thing. I shot a little bit of video here of me using it to press my seams for a block I'm making for the uh, Lori Holt Sew by Row Quilt. But y'all, this thing, look at it. It's dinky. It can travel. Oh my gosh, look at that. It has a wonderful flat, and it's kind of warm. I unplugged it a little bit ago. It has a little bit of weight to it, but it's not heavy. Unlike those other travel irons that are flimsy, this thing is, is nice. It's solid and it has a nice base that it just sits in and it has a little picture of the iron in the bottom of the base. And that way you know which way is which and it just sits in there. So I'm sewing along. This is nice and warm. I reach, I need to press a seam. I just reach for my steady Betty, put it in my lap. You guys know I like to do that when I embroider anyway. Put it in my lap and then I'm just pressing my seams. 
Love it. Absolutely love it. It has three separate heat settings and it's low, medium, and high. From cold, it heats up in less than two minutes. It was at temperature in one minute and 50 seconds. All you have on it is the temperature button. It doesn't have a timer like the other Easy Press irons have if you're familiar with those. I just got the Easy Press 2, which is the big one. I got this one too. Man, that thing is heavy. <laughs> I have the, the small one, medium size one. This is my third. I love these things. I'm an iron freak. <laughs> A lot of women collect shoes. <laughs> I collect irons and sewing machines. No, I, you guys, I'm telling you, this thing is awesome. And also, it's smart. It says it has an auto off feature in it but it has a motion sensor in it as well. If you don't do anything with it, it will auto off in 15 minutes. But yesterday I was piecing together all of my quilt squares and it stayed on for over an hour. So I have to assume it has some kind of motion sensor in it that it knows it got picked up and it needs to stay, it needs to, you know, stay hot. And so, oh, I love it. Oh my gosh, it does such a great, great job, really. I shouldn't get so excited about an iron, <laughs> should I? But I do, but I do. As soon as I got it, because so they market it for you to be able to iron stuff on like tennis shoes, you know, are hard to, hard to iron things. And it will handle, it says the infusible ink. It's compatible with that. But who, how often do you iron a tennis shoe, you know? And I thought, well, and then I, I got it and I was like, Wait a minute, this thing is perfect for quilt piecing. It is perfect for quilt piecing. You know, not the big, when you're ironing out all your fabric from the beginning, when you're doing your starching and all that, you wanna use the big irons for that. But uh, this is at the machine, perfect, perfect. <laughs> okay, so we now are gonna go through the January Creative Notions bag. You guys, this is so cute, so cute. There was a typo on the paper, and uh, Vicki put it in the Facebook group already that there was a typo. It says that you received eight fat quarters in a panel. You only received five. It should have said five fat quarters in a panel. The total value of this bag is $85.50, so let's go through it. It came in a super cute little orange dotted bag. This fabric line is called Roots of Love by Wilmington Prince. This is so pretty, you guys. So pretty. I love it. Uh, it's upside down. Here we go. Let me back up so you can see it. How pretty, huh? Beautiful. Just beautiful. When we have each other, we have everything. How nice. So it came with Five fat quarters, let me get up here so you can see them. There is a tossed flowers. There is a teal dot. Here's a large tossed flowers, all over print. Here are country, I guess, flower pot sayings. Family and flowers are everything. Love grows best in happy homes. Very nice. And then there is a plaid with the teal and red on white. Very, very pretty. They're very soft. Very nice. Now there's two different things you can do with this and they give you the pattern for both of them. So the first thing you can do is to make the wall hanging. It says wall hanging idea and that's the name of the pattern that comes with it. That's very, very nice. So this is where you would use the panel itself as a whole, and then you would use the coordinating fat quarters to make all of the stars around the border. And then they give you a block of the month. This is a contest that they do. You can submit a block and it will be included into the kits. So this is the block that goes around the outside in the border. So you got that pattern as well or you can make a tote bag, the Melanie tote bag. And it, they give you this pattern. And you can see it has pockets 
on the inside. And then the kit came with an accessory set, a tote bag accessory set. And it has these handles that have flower embellishments. Let me turn it this way. We have handles with flower embellishments. It comes with a zipper. It also comes with a clasp, a key ring clasp, and it also has magnets in there. There are magnets. And then there is a decorative thread. It's not listed on here. It says it includes one handle set, one 24 inch zipper, one key ring, and one magnet closure. But it doesn't say anything about the thread. So you have some pretty decorative thread you can use for top stitching. How nice is that? Very cool. I love it. I think it's beautiful. I might have to make that. You get the Melanie tote bag and it, it doesn't look like it has, so the zipper closure is on an inner pocket is what that is through the center. That's really nice. I like that. I may have to make that. See how that'll look? You use the panel and you cut it in half, top and bottom, okay, for both sides. Very cool. I think you cut it in half. Maybe you just fold it. Whatever. I'll have to look at the instructions and see. Okay, and then the kit also came with, you know how they, um, they have a recipe included with every one of the bags all last year? Well, everybody who submitted recipes, they created a Creative Notion Subscribers Cookbook 2020. And you've got this big cookbook. Look at all these. Tons of recipes, you guys. Tons and tons. How nice. And each contributor has their name listed in the index. Famous! <laughs> also, you get a quilting notion tool, a quilting tool. And this month, you get a 45 millimeter Ulfa blade. Can't go wrong. And of course, a little sweet. What did I do with it? I got a little heart lollipop. How cute. I think that's all we got going on. Very, very busy around here. So excited for the room to start February 22nd. Crossing my fingers, we stay on date for that. I haven't heard back from my contractor yet that things are gonna slip, so that's good. But you know, it's COVID, anything can happen, right? All right, you guys, that's all I gotta talk to you about. We will talk to you soon. Go sew something, bye.